Feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that pay. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hold my beer for a minute. I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit. I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning. Oh, and this is just the beginning. I need a big change, help me feel like living. I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting, and I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all. And we all got dreams, we all want things. But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe you can do anything? But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? Hello, good morning. It's Wednesday, 10th of April. Welcome back to the Sim Shack. I am Sim UK, and today we're going to take a look at a game that hasn't released yet called Tavern Manager. Now, what I've seen of this game, I really, really like, so I'm quite excited to show it to you today. I think there's a lot of you out there that are actually going to like this quite a bit. They call it um, the um, medieval equivalent of um, a supermarket simulator. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Supermarket simulator. Uh, but I actually think it's got um, an awful lot of extra qualities in it that supermarket simulator doesn't have. So I think this is really good. Um, the game has not released yet. When it does release, it just says coming soon, so I don't know when exactly. But when it does release, it is going to release in early access. Now, this, this game is an indie developed game with simulation, but also casual elements to it by uh, developers and publishers one more time. Now, there's a nice little backstory to this. There's a bunch of friends who basically, you know how life sort of gets in the way of your friendship and you move further away from each other and it's difficult to meet up and greet up and go out and have beers and enjoy yourself. Well, they made a joke apparently one day that they were going to make a game about doing that. Uh, and now it's here. Which is quite exciting from a from an indie developer's perspective. I think I think that's really awesome. 
So I'm going to do my very best today to showcase this game to you. Fair comment, uh, I'm in quite a bit of physical pain today. So I'm probably not going to be as enthusiastic as I should be all the way through because just because I'm in pain. Uh, but that's not because I don't like the game. I'm really keen to get into this game and I'm hoping it's as good as I think it's going to be. I really think this is going to be a good game. So please, fingers crossed, let this be a good game. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Good morning, Tez. How are you? But only just. It is, isn't it? Is it only just morning? I'll tell you for why. I'll take one minute out of the stream just to tell you for why. I woke up this morning and half the shed roof had been ripped off. So I had to climb up on the roof and hammer it all back down and stuff. And I've got like uh, a condition in my hands and my wrists. So holding, holding hammers and climbing ladders and stuff like that is a real pain for me. So, um, yeah, I struggled a bit this morning. Douglas, good morning to you. I hope you're well. Right, shall we jump in? Shall we jump in and see what this game is all about? I think it's going to be awesome. I haven't seen the game. This is my first look. So I don't know how to do anything, but we'll figure it out together. I'm excited to do that. For some reason, your, uh, your chat is not chatting to me this morning. God only knows... God only knows why it's not working this morning. I fixed yesterday's stream problems, so we should have a cleaner stream today, at least. You loved my content from Bus Sim and Cooking Life. Well, thank you very much, Douglas. I worked very hard on those. I am glad that you enjoyed them. Thank you so much for watching and for being here this morning. I think if you like those games, I really think you're going to like this game. This game has a real good look about it i was gonna say feel about it but i haven't tried it yet it looks really good should we jump in let's jump in now this is the demo version this isn't the full game version and it's an early access so expect bugs and limitations okay right new quest so i can see top left hand corner we've got 50 coins uh reputation level one what looks like a cleanliness meter, so I'm guessing this tavern's going to be an absolute mess. Top right, we've got uh, the day, which is zero, the time, which is going up, and the weather conditions. And then we've got a bunch of tasks over there on the right as well. Before I jump in, I've got to say performance is super solid. I'm getting 78 frames per second, drops down to 60 occasionally. Good morning, sir. Tell you what, you got some forearms there, mate. I don't know what you do for a living, but you do it very hard. And uh, I like the look of it. I like this art style. I don't know what you would call it. But I like it. It's it's very me. Oh, look, there's a massive castle over there. That's pretty groovy. There's a bit of a castle over there as well. Nice environment. Should we just have a quick look over here, see what this says. What have we got? Do they say anything? If they do, I can't read them. Certainly not in English. All right. Oh, windmill. Very nice. That's a bit run down. We'll have to get that straightened out, by which I mean curved and bent round. Let's go get this tavern open. Open the tavern doors. How do I do that? Locked. I need to look... From the other side. Find the entrance into the tavern. What? Oh, okay. So what I know of the game so far is that it's quite an involved process. Um, you'll be able to expand the building, sort of lay it out the way you want it. And um, the whole cooking and... Oh, wow, look at that. The whole cooking and beer serving process, I think, is going to be quite involved as well like in a simulator type type styly uh how are we gonna get in here smash these i can go inside here but first i need to remove the boards okay so how am i going to remove the boards aha uh -huh. i'll clean the boards of course why didn't i think of that great i'm inside now i need to look around and figure out how to open the main door am i really short or is this a really big building It looks like there once was a kitchen here, but everything is broken. It certainly is. It's a lot of cobwebs as well. And this is the main bar. 
Fantastic. Right, let's open the tavern doors. It's a bigger piece of wood, so that takes longer. Great view. It certainly is. Right, I've got to clear the tavern. The 50% clean. Keep the tavern clean and tidy, <clears throat> up dirt on time. Some customers might become dissatisfied and even leave. It was a bit blowy overnight, it was. Douglas, I wouldn't tell a soul, my friend. It is a little bit cartoony. It is, but like with a realistic vibe to it. Minecraft art style? Oh, I don't know about that. Might be pushing it a bit with the Minecraft art style. But I like it. I think it looks quite nice. Um, right, okay, what's now? Tavern cleaning. You can remove small debris by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Stains on the floor can be cleaned with a mop. Open the tool menu by holding tab and select mop. Tavern cleaning. Hold down left mouse button to mop the floor to remove the tool. Press the right mouse button. Ah, they've implemented the right mouse button to put stuff away. I like that. I can just brush this kind of dirt away. Okay, so where's the brush? Anyone seen it? Oh, I saw it then for a second. It's just over here in this door. Oh, and for this kind of dirt, I need a mop. I think that's vomit, by the way. It may be alcohol. I think it's vomit. Oh, I don't need to go in there now. Okay, so where's this mop then? Oh, is it, have I already got it? Do I already have a mop? Ah, that's not a mop. <laughs> that's that's not a knife. This is a knife. Uh, yeah, that's not a mop. That's a brush. So, um, a little bit lost in translation there, methinketh. Okay, right, let's get this stuff cleared away. It's kind of cartoony, isn't it? But I like it. I like it. It's... it's Mmm. It's got a, 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 a guy throop brush kind of feel about it, almost. If you know what that is, you'll have to remind me of the game name because I can't remember it. Monkey Island? Is it Monkey Island? I think it's Monkey Island. Okay, I can't do anything with that yet. What about this thing? No, can't do anything with that yet. Can't do anything with that yet. So we're just doing the basics. Picking up all the broken... Bits of pottery and so on off the floor. I'm really keen to get past this part and start doing some cooking or something. Right, these big piles of old trash just can't be moved. Maybe the tavern will have something... Oh, what happened there? That went quick. Find something to cover the trash with. What? Oh, hang on. Old tablecloths. This seems to be exactly what I need to hide my junk. Okay. Uh, another tablecloth. Another tablecloth. And another tablecloth. Let's get rid of this rubbish whilst we're here. Hate to see a job half done. We start it. Finish it. Right click to put it away. Lovely stuff. It's looking better already, guys. You'd come and have a drink here, wouldn't you? Cartoony but live action at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I'm feeling that. I am feeling that. Okay. Right. So, how is this going to work? Oh, hang on. That's not what I wanted. Can we get rid of the cobwebs? No. All right, let's put the tablecloth on it. <laughs> I thought we were going to at least sort of make it look like a table or something. Okay, that's interesting. Why is that one not doing it? Do I have to do this one next? Do they have to be done in order? Oh, have we hit our first bug. Okay, that's two. Why won't that one do it? That one won't do it either. So I need more cloths. Oh, hang on.
Oh. Hello. What the hell is that? Oh, that's my serving tray. Okay. All right. Um, random. Okay, so don't click there. Click on the actual stuff itself. Right, okay, that makes sense. Now it's not so dirty here. It's time for me to get my paperwork done. Paperwork. That's, that's what this room is then. Look in the office. It looks like this is where the old owner conducted his business. Wow, they, I tell you what, those things that pop up need to be up a lot longer. There's no way on earth I can read them in the brief second that it's there. That's the uh, previous owner's uh, bed, previous owner's clothes. They look filthy, nice. Everything else in here is like massive. And this clock, which is a grandfather clock and usually massive, is tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I just find that a bit comical. Right. Um, let's see what we've got here. Purchasing resources. This is your tavern management desk. You need it to manage the tavern. Replenish resources, buy furniture and decorations. Order the necessary resources in the resources section. To add them to the cart, click the plus button located below the resource and then press the delivery button okay so that's the tavern these are improvements i can make hooks boilers bar hooks bar stock bar that's tavern level two i see so as you unlock new parts of the tavern you get extra bits and bobs that you can do stuff with so let's go into resources and order, I don't know, how many? Five beer? Wait for the cart with the goods. Okay, new quest. Wait for delivery and pick up your order. I reckon he's actually going to turn up in a like horse and cart or something. That'd be kind of cool. If it just appears out of the sky, that's going to be less impressive. Oh, the sky is quite nice. What was that? Oh, okay, I think he maybe dropped it off at the back. Oh, he has got a horse and cart. That's so cool. Thank you, buddy. Right. Put it in the right place, which is over here. Oh, no, it's not. It's... Wait a minute. Ah, there, I see. Time to let people know about the new tavern. We need to come up with a name and make a beautiful sign. Fix the sign. Okay. Say. Yeah, it's got leveling up in it. <laughs> this is not a simulator, Tez. It's like... Um, a Simcade, Miao China. Just missing a coat of arms and a suit of armor. Hey, that'd be nice. That'd be nice if we could, we could add that. That would be cool. Right, fix the sign. Okay, so. All right. The well-fed glutton. Hmm. What do you think? No. Oh, you could change the shape of it. Which one do we like the look of? Oh, I quite like that for food. I'm a bit of a cheese head. The only reason I like this one is because it's got like a bit of a roof on it. I don't know why that would be good. That'll make it harder to see. That one's okay. Mm, mm. I think out of all of them, I don't know actually. Go for that one. So I can change the picture in the middle. Hubba hubba. Okay, that's what we're going with. Um, can I type in there now? Oh, I can, I can, I can. But will it take the same shape? Um,
It will. Okay. So then I, if I type that and click away, the ultimate beer up. It's not going to be something, Shaq. You're wrong. It's the ultimate beer up. That's what it is. And my lovely lady is, uh, yeah, that's brilliant. I tell you what, if I, oh, what? The sign's facing the wrong, wrong way. <laughs> okay. Opening and closing the tavern. Open your tavern so that customers can enter. Open and closing of the tavern. To do this, turn the column with the sign. Oh, I see. That's why no one can see it. The lame rogue. You can change the sign whenever you want. You can also close the tavern at any time. For example, to take care of business in the tavern without being distracted by customers. Those pesky customers. Right, so if I grab that. Why does it only show on one side? I'm a bit disappointed by that, I'll be honest. Hopefully that's something they'll fix in early access. Yeah, at first I'm a bit of a cheesehead. Sim UK 2024. Yes, indeed. I really like that sign. I really do like that sign. Ultimate beer up. Fantastic. Right, let's get inside before the customers arrive. And somehow I'm going to have to get beer from the barrel to here. New quest. Pour a mug of ale. Making a drink. Click on the workplace with the left mouse button to start creating an order. Hold down the left mouse button to pour a mug. Release left left mouse button when the arrow is in the yellow or green area. Okay. If you spill the drink, don't forget to clean it up after yourself. Oh, oh I see. I see how this is going to work. Retrieve the order from the stand by clicking on the order left mouse button. Serve the order to the customer by clicking on the customer table and strive to make high quality orders to get best tips. I feel like I should have ordered more beer. Oh, that was close. This is actually more tricky than I thought it was going to be. Where's the yellow bar? It gets faster as it gets closer to the top. <laughs> Morning, Spike. How are you? Hope you're well, sir. You call your organised piss up. Very nice. Oh, yes. Uh, one beer for the lady. Click to take one. Shift to fill the tray. H to clear everything. Okay. Put the tray down first. There we go. Cheers. I wasn't expecting my first customer to be a lady. And my second customer. Look at this. I think I'm going to have to order some more beer. Good morning, ladies. Tough day at work? Hey, voila. I see how this is working. And I could put that away any time. So let me just n nip in here. Oh, God. Guest service. You need to serve guests to earn money. You can prepare the necessary orders at a different workplace. Don't forget to clear the table after the customer. Rogery dodgery. But let's get... A bunch. Oh, I haven't got enough. I can get five more. Okay. Oh, here we go. Take the money. Oh, how do I, how do I clean up? Wait, 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 wait. How do I clean up? Oh, that was weird. Serve more clients. Hello, sir. Lovely to see you. Right, so I've got the dirty things. How do I clean them? Got myself in a bit of a situation here, haven't I? Right, we'll go put this in the... Oh, good job I did. Look, we're almost out. Um... So, yeah, how do I... What's this? It's nothing. Dirt on the table. Sometimes customers may leave dirt on the table. Dirt damages cleanliness and prevents new customers from sitting at that table. Click on the table and hold down the left mouse button to remove the dirt. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, I see. 
I see. That's I mean that's a pretty good mechanic. It works. Works pretty damn well. Um I still don't know how to clean these things, that's the problem. I've got I've got a few cups left. I'm guessing you wash up here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I need a bucket of water. Let's clean this up whilst we're here. Hello. Um yes, you want to drink, won't you? Running out of space on this tray though. Cheers. Good health. I guess we don't get to set the prices or anything. We just have to uh just keep dishing it up. So if t one more customer, here we go. That is a magnificent combination of mustache, eyebrow hair, and hair, sir. Here's a beer. Enjoyeth. Right, I need to wash dishes at last. So we come in here. How do we do this? Draw water from the well. Water is needed for washing dirty dishes and for cooking dishes. To get a bucket of water, you'll need a well. Click on the well handle with the left mouse button. Turn the well to raise the bucket. Okay. Okay, so I wonder what happens to those drinks when I hide that thing. Oh, how am I? How do I do this? Oh, this is not... This is way more involved than I was hoping for. Is it full? This is very medieval. I like. I like. Except the bucket just disappeared, but that's fine. Uh, yes, madam. Dirty dishes. If you run out of dishes, you won't be able to create new orders. Keep track of the amount of clean dishes and periodically wash dishes. Hold down the left mouse button on the dish to place it in the water. Move the mouse to rinse off the dirt in the water. Okay. Let me just get this nice lady a drink. Right, I've done three. I've done three. No, no space on the tray. This is what I was afraid of. Oh, yeah. That was quite easy. Thank you, madam. Cheers. Good health. Good morning. New level has been achieved. Well done, us. Right. Let me... Grab that, put it in here, give it a swishy-wishy round. I love the animation. That's very cool. Why is the beer green? Oh, I've got to put it in the green slot. Not, not where I want. Don't put it where I want. Reputation. Serve some customers to gain reputation. You need reputation to develop the tavern. The more customers you serve, the more famous your tavern will become. Strive to create orders of proper quality. The quality of the order affects the reputation you gain. For a perfect order, you'll also receive tips, but for a low quality order, you'll lose reputation. Roger that. Thank you very much. Tavern upgrade. When you reach a new level of reputation, you can upgrade the tavern if you have enough money and have met all the conditions. Upgrades unlock access to new content. For example, new space, workplace, decorations, furniture. Some upgrades can increase productivity fantastic fantastic uh it should be part well you know i know what they were doing they were waiting for me to fill up the um the thing they were waiting for me to fill up the tray before giving me the tutorial i understand why they did it i reckon yes you're right maybe after the first customer or second customer would be the best time to do that. Not wait until I've run out of space completely. I'm sure I put more cups in than that. But I only have to wash up two. That's weird. Oh. Beer for sir. Good morrow, good sir. Enjoy your drink. And it's green like that because everything was green back in medieval times. You want realism and then complain when it's realistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's more realistic than that? Have you never seen people washing up? People hate washing up. It's a pain in the ass. 
What I need is a wench to come in and do some washing up for me. I'm out of beer. That's a bad, bad, bad problem. Good morning, madam. Lovely to see you. That mechanic is pretty good, actually. It's kind of intuitive. Once you've done it a few times. All right, what does he want me to do? Oh, I should have read it. Buy a new tavern level. Okay, so improvement, tavern level two, tavern level two. Uh, expansion, new clients, new furniture, new decoration. 50 bucks. What? Have I got any money for beer now? Because if I haven't, I've got a problem. Oh, yeah, I do. Who wants some alcohol? Oh, we've cleared some space. Fantastic. Multiplayer. That would be cool. Let me just check. Uh, it's, it's a listed and single player at the moment, but it is in early access, and that always means there's a possibility of uh, making it multiplayer. I think it's quite well set up for multiplayer. It seems very stable and whatnot. So I think it's going to be good getting the gist of it now but i'm liking what i'm seeing oh i did that just in time didn't i and oh no i splattered it for the first time never waste beer have you noticed drunk people i mean like really drunk people who can't stand up they never spill their beer like, all of their concentration is on the beer itself. Good day, young lady. Keep putting that thing away and then having to get it out again. Furniture. To serve more customers, buy and place furniture in the tavern. Order Ordered furniture will arrive to you on a cart as a resource. The furniture will appear in your inventory when you take it into the warehouse. Open your inventory using tab or I and select furniture you want to place. Place it in an available spot for furniture. Over time, new types of furniture will become available to you. Okay. Right, let me just quickly get rid of this. And... Tap. Tap. And quickly grab a drink. There we go, madam. Thank you so much for leaving a bloody mess on my table. Unbelievable. It's always the pretty ones, have you noticed? I don't care about anyone else. Right. Grab that, give it up. The green stuff is vomit. Yeah, I, I thought it was vomit, but some of it is beer. It's not all vomit. There's definitely some vomit there. Oh, why has that not got a green thing? Still, I've still got one thing to wash up. Okay. Maybe I didn't clean it enough. I think that's what happened there. Good morrow, good sir. Et voila. You think that is vomit on the table? Yeah, I think you're right, actually. I've seen them vomit in the... Uh, in the, like, trailer. It does look like that. Whoa! Oh, that's weird. Right, so we'll come over here then, and we'll press tab, inventory. That's my resources, on the walls, on the floor, physical. Oh, <laughs> I haven't actually bought anything yet, have I? Might help if I actually bought something. So we'll come in here. Improvements, no, delivery. Furniture, table and chairs. That seems like a good idea. Are we out of beer again? Oh no, we're alright. Whilst it's quiet. Prep up some more of these bad boys. 
I'll be honest with you, the key thing that I want to do in this game is prepare the meat. Because the whole meat preparation thing looks really cool. <laughs> that's the that out of everything that I've seen in this game, that's the thing that made me go, ooh. <laughs> I want to try this. Oh hang on. Now either I destroyed that or it went into inventory. On the floor. Physical furniture. There we go. Oh cool. Okay. How do I rotate? Z to turn to the left. Okay. I think I can get two tables in there. Or maybe... Yeah, let's, let's squeeze one in there. Decor! You are free to decorate the tavern walls, floor and tables. Order decor in the special section in the tavern management table. Open your inventory. So same thing. What is it with cats? They like cats in this game. Good morning, madam. How art thou? I am so ahead of the game. I used to be a barman. Do you know what they called me? Other than that, not that name. They called me Radar. Because I was always, always, always watching for when people were about to finish their beer. And before they'd even finished, I'd offer them, like, would you like another beer? They'd be like, yes, they would. So, like, they never, ever had a dry glass, ever. So they called me Radar. Because Radar, in a TV show, I can't think of the name of it, used to hear the helicopters coming in before anyone else. There you go. A little, uh, little bit of knowledge for you. Background info. Right. We're <laughs> for some reason, we're going to buy a cactus. I don't know why. Thank you. Come again. Why can't I pick that up? Oh, I see. So I click on the table, not the thing I want to pick up. Right, I've got it now. I see how it works. Right, so there's four things in there. I'm going to run out of water. This water must be filthy already. So you only have to wash up half the number of things that are in there. That's interesting. I'm going to need some water. And a cactus. I wonder why it has to be converted into a bag and you can't just pick it up as it is, sort of thing. Like, why can't I just pick up the box, so to speak? And it does actually ride off as well. That's pretty groovy. That just adds to the fun. Oh. That's full again. Good morrow, good sir. I think I'm running out of beer here. I'm going to put another beer order in. We've got 110 bucks. Uh, resources. What's that going to cost me? 50 bucks? Let's do 15. Ever expand. Always growing and expanding. Right, so tab, inventory. Oh my god, that's a huge cactus. Oh no, 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 it's not. <laughs> it's very deceptively small. That looked like it was an enormous bloody great big thing. Okay, we'll just leave it there for now. Not a big fan of cactuses, to be fair. Mash! It was mash. That was it. Thank you. It was mash. You're absolutely spot on. As always, gentlemen. As always. Cool. Look at this. We're actually getting a bit of a... I wonder what happens when you fill that up. Do you reckon I can get more? Why is there a door here that I can't access? So many questions. Right, we have two dirty tables to clear. We're right, running a little cafe. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Why has this lady got a 
timer above her head. What's the problem? What's going to happen when it reaches the top? What? Where's she going? Oh, look. Look at my floor. No wonder people don't want to come in. Right. Get them up out. Man, this is just an extra flipping job now. Definitely need a serving wench. Oh, hey, up. I just cleaned that floor. Somebody come in, you cheeky cow. <laughs> Did you not see me cleaning the floor when you came in? You just think it's okay just to drag your filthy footprints in here. Ah, oh, now look what you made me do. See why waiting staff don't like customers. They're nothing but trouble. Knock it in there. There's three things in there, so I shouldn't have to do more than two. Okay. So I'm going to get my reputation up somehow. Tab, there we go, try again. Thank you, young lady. Tell you what, it's gonna be hard work, this is. Good morning. Two for beers, beers for two. Good morning, sir. New level. Hey, hey, hey. What are we going to do now? Reputation level three. Buy a new tavern level. Okay, we've upgraded twice now. Oh, no. Hang on. That's going to cost me a hundred bucks. We haven't quite got that. So we'll have to wait until... Uh, a couple more customers. Thank you. Come again. Well, no, not you. You vomited all over my table. Absolutely disgusting. Maybe if I stop serving them horrible green beer, they'll stop vomiting everywhere. This could do it for you. Make a good wench. <laughs> oh, dear. That's funny. <laughs> Level three, baby. Level three. What did we think of the game so far, guys? I'm quite liking all the mechanics and... Um, I like the art style. I think that's an important thing. You're either going to be up for the art style or you're not. And if you're not, it's not really much that the gameplay can do for you. But because I like the art style and the gameplay. I'm, I'm quite taken with it so far. Now look, that person out there doesn't want to come in. I'm not quite sure why. Just clean the floor. What's his problem? What's his problem? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe they like some customers will only come in if you've got a tavern of a certain size or something like that. Tavern level three. Um, expansion, new clients, new furniture, new decoration, unique guests. That sounds daunting. New events, a toilet. That's a good idea. And a new workplace. Oh, maybe this is the meat prep. <laughs> the toilet's outside, of course. And it looks to be blocked. Maybe I need to go fix it.
you know, Mel would like this kind of game. Yeah, I think this is um, like a good for all casual kind of styly thing, isn't it? Young, old, male, female. It's got a little bit of something for everybody, as far as I can see. Multiplayer would be rather useful. You could have a really big, thriving little pub, couldn't you? With a chef and uh, waiting staff and bar staff and stuff. I can't put that down. Why can't I put that down? Oh, I've got to talk to him. Put the tray down first. Okay. What's happened? I'm asking you to leave. Uh, nothing. I've got to say this. Oh, he wants a sausage. You want a sausage? I don't have no sausages. For you. I have beer for the ladies. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Okay. We've now got a second doorway. All right. Okay. Things are definitely happening fast. Right. This guy wants a sausage and I've got to go inspect the toilet. There's like a multitude of things I've got to do at this moment in time. Go check out the toilet first of all. In the future, it's better not to leave it dirty for a long time. The stench will be terrible. Oh, not another thing to clean. Ah, oh, God. Now the tavern has a toilet. Sometimes customers will use it. A dirty restroom will damage your cleanliness. After several customers, the toilet might get clogged. Oh, God. And it needs to be cleared by clicking left mouse button at the right moment. Ah. Oh. I already feel like I want to vomit. I can't believe that. Right, well, this is progressing nicely. In the future, it's better not to leave it dirty for a long time. The stench will be terrible. Right. So, in here somewhere... Unusual clients. You are becoming more popular and attracting attention. Sometimes unusual customers may come to you. Someone may ask for help, while others may be rowdy. To talk to a client, click on them with the left mouse button. Be polite to everyone. Listen to them and serve them properly. Okay. Okay. Right. So if I come in here, I need to read this. Order sausages for clients. So delivery, resources, sausages. We get some beer as well. Right. Hello, lady. Would you have a coin for me, good sir? There you go. Have 30 coins. Thank you, kind sir. I will tell everyone, even those who cannot pay are treated well here. No, don't tell them that, for God's sakes. Tell them it's very expensive. Toilet sausage. Ooh. I'd rather not think about that, Tez. Thank you very much. How do I cook a sausage? Oh, I've got loads of stuff here. Oh, that's why. But it backs the whole lot up, so you haven't got to, like, do multiple trips. So, okay. Customers can order not only drinks, but also snacks. Buy resources at the store and take them to the warehouse. Hold down the left mouse button to arrange snacks on the shelf. Okay. I see. Um, let's put those in there. Maybe I can't... Hang on. Maybe I can't pick up a sausage whilst I'm holding a... There we go. There you go, sir. Sausage, as requested. Two beers. Sorry to keep you waiting. We had to learn how that all worked. Looks like it's getting darker out there as well, look. Night and day sequence. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm talking faster and faster and faster as I play because the game itself is sort of encouraging me to do everything faster and faster and faster. What's from there? No clean crockery. Right, we'll soon sort that out. It's definitely getting a bit... Um, a bit flipping full on. There we go. Good, good, good.
We haven't shut yet. We've been open for an entire day. Morning, noon, and night. Oh! Extra tips. Or, or maybe that's just less money. I don't know. Right, so we could get another table. That's an option. More customaras. Customaras. Uh, right, we'll stick those in there. We'll mop out and we'll give this a clean. Tell you what, it would be really nice if you could buy a rug here that reduced the number of dirty footprints, just as an idea for the devs, in case they haven't already thought of that. Hey, voila! Right, so, how much cash have I got? 40 bucks. It's not a lot, but I'm going to invest it in sausages. How much does that cost? 25. Can I get some extra beers? Boom. There you go. We're absolutely rocking and rolling it now. Thank you very much. Please come again. Get in the hang of this now. There's our delivery. Looks fantastic out here. Look at that. There's a little waterfall and everything. I wonder if you can actually whoops, walk around and sort of explore the environment. That'd be kind of groovy, wouldn't it? Oh, I can only have four or five sausages hanging up there at any one time. Fair enough. No, it says, serve the sausage and serve the ale. I've got to do loads of these. Oh, nobody wants to come in because we've got a dirty toilet. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to this. Great, so we've got to use the same mop that we used to clean the floor. Is that, no, am I using the wrong thing? Oh, don't tell me I've got to use my hands. Oh, God, I've got to use my hands. Oh, I see. Oh, God. Hit the poop. Sparkling clean. I don't need to wash my hands, because it's medieval times. What are they worried about now? Our cleanliness is green. What's the matter with you all? Oh, you guys look dead. You don't look very healthy at all. What are they looking at? Right, do you know what? I'm going to close. But you can't shut the doors. Oh, no, that's disappointing. Blast. Oh, look. I didn't see that up there before. Do you think I can change it? No. So the prices are fixed. There's nothing to wash up. I'm going to grab some water and we'll reopen and see if they start coming in again. I don't know why they're not coming in. I think initially it was the toilet. But I fixed that now, so that shouldn't be a problem. Cleanliness is green, like my beer. <laughs> Where do you think I get the beer from? <clears throat> right, okay, let's go open again and see if that fixes the problem. If it doesn't, then I'm a bit stumped. Oh. Oh, the castle looks lovely all lit up at night. Well, that guy looks like he's going in.
So at some point, we're going to have this up and running, and we're going to be able to cook meat on here and do, like, proper... What does he want? Beer. Of course he does. There you go, good sir. Wow. It's slowed down a bit, isn't it? There's me thinking I need a wench to help me out, and now I'm like, got nothing to do. They're beer drinkers. They're definitely beer drinkers. Two beers. Two beers coming up. Do I know my customers or what? Bon appetit! Right, let's get... It's cleaned up. Not 100% clean, is it? Oh, hang on. A mess in here. Does that help? Ah, oh, okay, that's gonna help. Splendid. Thank you so much. Come again. So, mm, if I mm, maybe if I talk to them. Nope, can't talk to them. What is the problem? Looking at something. I can't quite figure out what it is. Is it that? No, that. More tables? What do you want? Talk to me. This may be a bug. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds you of Shopkeep 2. Do you know I never played that game, but I do know what you're talking about. And yes... It, def it definitely has a shopkeep two sort of vibe about it. You're right. That's a dilling customer sound, I think. Yes, it is. This is no good. Everybody's drinking beer and nobody's eating sausages. We're going to run into problems very quickly at this rate. Sausages for sale! Can we get your lovely sausages here? Would you like a bratwurst, madam? You look like a bratwurst, madam, to me. Oh, would you like a bratwurst? Yes, you would. Of course you would. There you go, young lady. Enjoy. Don't eat it all at once. How many more have we got to do? Three more. Yeah, groovy. Wondering whether I should buy another table. But to be honest, I haven't sold a single sausage at the table. So maybe that's just going to exacerbate things and make them even worse. Thank you, madam. Come again. They're out there again. I'm not eating in there, posse. Maybe if I go clean the toilet again. Is that a toilet as well? Throw to hold to throw an item off a tray. Okay. Interesting. Oh, Tez, seriously. Sausages been fished fresh from the toilet this morning. Yeah. In a word. Yuck. Boom. I even did it quick that time. So this place is beautifully clean, right? There's no reason why customers shouldn't be coming in. Ha 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 ha. El sausage. Un sausage, mademoiselle. Is that the last one? No, we need to do one more ale. 
Sausages and ale. Can we get your sausages and ale? Sausages and ale. Fantastic prices. Good quality you've never seen before in your lives. You, sir. Would you like some sausage and ale? You would, sir. Come on in. I will sort you right out. Thank you, madam. I wonder if maybe the uh, the AI could walk a little faster. We're nearly at reputation level four, by the way, if anyone hadn't noticed. All the ladies want my sausages. <laughs> Some of the men want my sausages too, buddy. Here you go, darling. What's he doing? Sniffing it? I think he's meant to be eating it. It's a shame the sausage doesn't like get eaten every time he touches his face. That would be kind of cool. But it just vanishes. Oh, a big, big fat smile on his face though. Lovely stuff. Hello, sir. You look like a man who knows his sausages. Yes, of course you do. Oh, voila! Level four. Check it out. So we're going to serve one more ale and then boost our... Oh, buy a new tavern level. I think I could probably do that right now, right? I think I've got so much money. Tavern level four. Oh, no, not quite. We're almost there. A few more sausages in a couple of beers time. We'll be on it. Let's give this a clean up. ourselves reset ready for the next load of super customers okay, voila my mam my mam my mam here you go my mam my, my, my mammary gland <clears throat> stop talking sim stop talking Right, uh, he's totally sniffing it. He was. He was absolutely sniffing my sausage. I saw that. <laughs> I knew it was a... <laughs> ah, that tickled me. The minute he walked in, I knew he was a... <laughs> I can't say it. I can't get the words out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm going to try one more time and then give up. <laughs> the minute he came in, I could see he was a sausage sniffer. <laughs> We got there in the end. Oh. I don't know why that was so funny. It just really tickled me. Tickled me pink, that did. And other nether regions. Right. I'm going... I've got to stop drinking this beer because it's obviously affecting my, my brain in a negative way. Um, right. We seem to be getting busy again. Let's place all nice and clean. looking good so now do i have enough yes i have enough so we shall improve to a level four wood chopping wood chopping is the next level oh we've opened the the oven sausage sniffer that's what he was that's what he was he was a sausage sniffer I'm not a sausage sniffer, I'm a sausage sniffer's son, and I'm only sniffing sausages because I can't find your bum. <laughs> Man alive! These painkillers are good. Right, firewood. You need firewood to start a fire at the workplace. You can chop firewood with an axe. Take the axe by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Hold down left mouse button to swing. Release mouse button over the log. Tutorials 19.3 tutorial log title. Carry the firewood to the workplace. You can also place them in the log holder for future use. Okay, so we have a log holder. Oh, okay, it's like the number of things I have to do is just grown astronomically. So we click on that. Ah, oh, seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Crack. Oh, okay. 
So, where the hell do I put this? Straight in there like that. And then I'm going to have to order some... Bring water from the well and buy vegetables for soup. We're going to make soup. Right, we've cleared more space, look. For more tables. I don't know if I want more tables. More tables means more customers. Oh no, here comes that old lady again. Sorry, we're closed. Uh, no canes allowed. I can't afford to give you any more money. I'm totally broke. Oh, why does she always turn her back? Ah, oh, she wants more money. Yeah, take the money, bugger off. Why was that bad good good? Why did I get bad good good? What, what was that? Maybe she could actually understand what I was saying. That's a bit freaky. Right, I'm going to get the beers done, and then we'll focus on how the hell I make soup. Because I fear this is going to get a little bit overwhelming. Maybe even a bit complicated. Yeah, I quite like the chopping... Oh, kapowsies. I quite like the chopping wood mechanic. Right, so we've got to get some water from the well. Oh, that's the best I've done that. Must be getting better at it. So we put water in there. <coughs> and then I need to order... I've only got 10 bucks, though. This is the problem. How much can I buy? I could buy two. Going to have to do... One beer, madam. Coming right up. There you go. I'm really annoying myself because I'm trying to put equal number of things in here because then I do the least amount of washing up. I always end up with an odd number. A sausage, sir. For vu. Bon appetit. Right. Oh, I've forgotten how to do this. Boom, 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 boom. Delivery has arrived. That's a very small delivery in a very big sack. It's a joke there that I'm not going to say. <clears throat> it looks like the toilet's filthy. Let me go sort that out and then we can focus on the soup. And there's a dirty table to do. Oh my god. Who would own a tavern in the medieval times? I mean, seriously. You wouldn't have any time to do anything else, would you? Wonderful. Right, we're back into clean. Let's get some more wood whilst we're here. That's a good one. Right, now it's said I can keep these stored somewhere. There. Where? <laughs> Where do I keep them stored? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Right, one beer, two beer, three beer. She's already got a beer. That's random. What's going on there then? Now she's got two beers. You've already got two beers. She can't possibly want another beer. She wants three beers! Holy moly! I genuinely thought that was a bug then, but no. It's just very thirsty. Someone puked in the tavern! Has he been saying that the whole time? Is it you? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> wow! Have you had a nice evening? Yes? Holy <laughs> you um you take a safe walk home now. Thanks for vomiting everywhere. That's vomit. Stop giving cash to ladies. 
Hey, you date the way you date, I'll date the way I date, all right? One moment, madam. Well, there you go. I've seen a lady get absolutely tanked. A walk out. Very much smashed. And I haven't even got to the soup yet. This is what this game's going to do to me. It's just going to get so intense now that I just I can't even get to the soup. What are you after, sir? A beer. Well, this is the last beer we've got, I think. There you go. I'm not sure if we've run out of beer or run out of crockery. Right, there's six in there, so I should wash up three and get six. Which is the best return on investment that you can get in the game. It would have been funnier if she fell over, yeah. Well, you know, early access, they're open to suggestions, so maybe, maybe we'll see someone falling over. Speaking of drunk people, does anyone remember the drunk guy? Um... In, in Omzi. Does anyone remember that guy? And used to be able to shortchange... No, it wasn't Omzi, was it? It was but Sim. And used to be able to shortchange him. Very naughty. Very naughty behaviour. Buy vegetables for soup. Oh, I've got to get ten vegetables. I see. Okay, we've got a problem. I am out of beer. Nearly out of money. So, improvement. Uh, no, delivery... So we're going to have to have less beer. Sorry for the wait. Um, the beer's on the way. Just be patient. And it will be here very, very soon. Should we actually watch him pull up this time? Watch him pull up. Here he comes. Good evening! <laughs> I like it. Thank you very much, sir. You're uh, an absolute gentleman. Right, what are we after? God, no, somebody wants soup. Now you can cook soup. To cook soup, you need water, firewood, and vegetables. You can find vegetables in the store, water in the well, and you'll need to chop firewood. While clicking left mouse button, ignite the fire under the soup by throwing in logs. Hold down the left mouse button to drag the vegetables to the pot. And release the left mouse button to throw vegetables into the water. Oh my god, this looks so complicated. Take the ladle by clicking on it with the left mouse button and stir the soup by moving your mouse in circles so that the arrow ends up in the yellow or green zone when the time is up. Keep an eye on its movement and do not overcook the soup. What will happen if I overcook the soup? almost out of flipping beer already right let's see if we can do this soup so so i have vegetables okay I, I completely didn't listen to what he said so that's good that's good oh i see bump 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 Wow, it says. Okay, so, does it matter what order I put them in? Oh, Christ, I nearly dropped that. Right, one. Two. Three. Four. Wait. Wait, what? Oh. Clicking on the wrong thing. I've got to stir it that way. In the amount of time that I've got. Oh man. Okay, I'm in the yellow. I'm in the yellow. I'm in the yellow. Brrr. Crash. 
Is that all right? Did I do it? Now it says play as you want. Ah, oh, that's the demo over. Ah, oh, crikey. Okay, that soup was a little bit tricky. Um, I'd actually like to dish up some soup, if I may. I've got two soups on there. I don't know why I did that. That was silly. Oh, he's, he's only gone and buggered off, look. There you go, madam. She is going to be so smashed. Oh, look, he's not happy. What does that mean? Has he broken the table? Oh, he's knocked the chair over. Put the tray down. Pick the chair up. So when they're grumpy... Oh, seriously? It's kind of funny. Uh, a beer, sir. Certainly. Let me get you a beer. No space on the tray. Right, I see what I've done. I've got myself in a bit of bit of trouble here. Ah, oh, why couldn't you order soup? Right. Oh no, now this guy's gonna get hammered. We're out of beer, and the place is a mess. Oh, man, there's so many things going on at once. And having two flipping soup bowls stuck on my tray is certainly not helping. Right, so what can I clean? Well, there's vomit for a start. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of the footsteps. Bet the toilet's filthy, isn't it? This is bloody hard work, I tell you what. Oh, a sausage. I haven't got any beer. Can I just give you the sausage for now? And then I'll come back with the beer in a minute. It's going to be tight. They're going to be kicking off. Don't hurry up. Zang. Get in there. One for luck. Oh, that didn't splat, you liar. Why did that splat? There's no way that splatted. Yes, a soup. Hurrah. Somebody finally ordered soup. I got a soup off my tray. That's awesome. Another beer for you, sir. It's your last one, Staniel. Good old medieval name. It's realistic. Stop moaning. <laughs> Have you never, ever worked in a pub, Kev? Hmm? Have you not? You show me a barman or barmaid who doesn't complain about the job. That's realism for you. The fact that I'm complaining about it means it's real. Oh, I've got to wash up some stuff. Again, real. <laughs> This is really cool. I really like this game. I think it's it's totally fun. It's totally chilled out. I'm really interested to see... I was hoping I would be able to do the steak. The steak... Uh, pre preparation of the steak and that looks really cool, but obviously that's not ready for the demo yet. Bit of a shame, but yeah, I like it. I think the game's got... It's really tidy. It's like... It just works. It's, it's it's really good. Works on many levels for me, it does. Space on the tray. Good lord. A woman's work is never done. Right. It's cool. I like us. Definitely getting a thumbs up from me. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the final version. There's lots of great ideas they could come up with. You could go... I don't know. You could, I was thinking you could go boar hunting. Start selling boar. You could have like knights of the round table come in and 
behave either really well or really badly. Do I have any beer left? Oh, by magic, we do. There's no stopping it, man. Oh, you have worked in a bar. Well, then you know this. <laughs> then you must know this. Complaining about customers. Oh, God, it's that lady again. Hello, Phyllis. Yeah, that's 30 coins. Off you go. The thing is, what the whole time she's there, it's like... She makes the place look dirty. Do you know what I mean? That's part of the problem. So it's kind of cost-effective to get rid of her. Give the bog a wash. It really never ends. You never get to a point where you think, oh done it <laughs> i've completed the game it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on not necessarily in a bad way just in a real way good morning gentlemen i do hope one of you wants soup so close Right, one sausage. One beverage. Bon appetit. Oh, I've got eight in there now. I didn't know it went up to eight. No plates, I notice. Could be plates as part of the washing up process. Well, I suppose we're actually giving the sausages to people without plates, so maybe... Maybe we should have plates! <laughs> Our beer, yes sir. Sure you wouldn't like some soup? Special offer. I just want to get rid of the soup and then I can end this stream. How long have I been streaming this for? An hour and 21 minutes. I swear to God, it feels like I've been playing this game for about 20 minutes and that's all. So I've clearly enjoyed myself, which is a great, I mean, that's a great compliment to any game. If I released a game and um, people enjoyed playing it, I would think that to be a great compliment and a, a huge achievement. Come on, soup it up. Soupy baby. Ah, sausage sniffer. I knew you would be. There you go, mate. You sniff that soup. It's even putting it up the right nostril. <laughs> oh, man. You take a jolly good whiff of that sausage, me old china. You'll love it. Change your life, that will. I remember the day when I sniffed sausages at Sim Shack. Flipping earbuds keep falling out today. What's going on? Oh no, why did I pick up the beer? You better want soup. Go on, soup, soup, soup. Nuggets. Never going to be able to get rid of the soup, am I? Well, I do feel like we've made a bit of a success. You know, we've made quite a bit of cash, quite a bit of money. Should we get another table just for this, the sake of it? Um, furniture. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't do it whilst he's delivering. I see. Okay. So, yeah. Last thing we'll do then is um, have a little look-see. what we've got in terms of decorations and furniture and whatnot and then I'd say we've 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 done a pretty complete package there of showcasing what the game currently has to offer it's, it's a pretty good um, demo I think certainly get the gist of the game get the idea get the intention
I wouldn't mind seeing some pirates in here. That would be fun. Not sure if you had pirates back in those days. I, uh, I imagine there were pirates. Of a sort. Oh, bloody hell, women. Where have you been? You deliberately walk in a puddle of mud before you come in here or something. Never stays clean for long. Right, come on. Soup. Free soup for anyone who wants it. Let's get some stuff. What do we got? Ah, we've got a horseshoe, a mirror, a picture, a wall hanger, empty shelves, wooden bedside table, and another wooden hanger. I'm going to go for the mirror and the horseshoe. Oh, there's different kinds of things. Plants in parts. Oh, I like the shield. Damn it, I can't afford both. What, what did I order? We'll ditch the mirror in favour of the shield. Oh, hello, what's this? Did someone just come in and leave a bit of cheese behind? <laughs> Flipping believable. And I cleaned that the footsteps up from those ladies on the way in. I made more mess on the way out. The toilet's now filthy. I thought soup was gonna be a big seller. We've not really had a massive run of soup fanatics. I may not be able to get rid of this soup. Right, let's put Where should we put the shield? Oh I see there's dots where you can put place stuff. I think. Yeah, let's whack that there. And then the horseshoe that's upside down we'll put there. Not sure that's a good idea. Beer. You sure I can't tempt you with the soup, sir? I'm quite upset now. I can't get rid of this bloody soup. I have to go clean the toilet. Got to be that that's stinking. Yeah, I can see it is. Unos. Oh no, I missed it. I wonder what happens if you just miss completely, like, three times in a row. Does it stay filthy, do you think? I imagine it would. Beer and sausages. Not being funny, but you need to expand your palate. I have one soup that I cannot get rid of, and I'm not happy about it. I want to end it on a soup sale. That's what's going to happen. Come on. You look soupy to me. You look super, sir. No, you're a sausage sniffer. There you go. Get that up your nostrils. Oh, damn. Can't give this soup away. It's it's maybe it's bad soup. Maybe that's why I can't get rid of it. Is it on the board even? It is. It is the most expensive thing we have, I suppose. Wow, oh, this earbud wants to leave my head desperately. Ah, you look pretty super, sir. Super Saturday. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's free. Got vegetables in it. Make you big and strong. You horrible little man. Alright, well, if the next customer doesn't order soup, I'm going to just chuck it. Oh, actually, that's something we haven't done. Maybe I should just chuck it. We'll give one more customer the chance to have this lovely soup. Here she comes. He, 
he, she, can't tell from this distance. When they get here, they're either going to eat soup or we're going to chuck it away. But, what a fantastic game. Um, I've really enjoyed playing it. Thank you very much to uh, One More Time Devs for uh, hooking me up with a key. Yeah. It just happens to be our last beer as well. Good timing. You watch, I'll throw this soup away and then someone will come in and ask for it. I just know it's going to happen. All right, let's see how this works then. Ah, oh, there we go. Simple as that. We now have a bowl to wash up. wonder if we'll actually get to see the bowl. Yeah, cool. I like it. It's a really well done game. They haven't tried to do too much too quickly. You ask for soup and I'm going to go mental. Goodness for that. You sausage sniffers, you're all alike. You're only interested in one thing. <laughs> right, thank you so much for watching. So, uh, thank you for so much for commenting. Everybody came in today. It's been a bit of fun, hasn't it? It's it's kind of realistic. I mean, you know, loosely. It's got simulation elements to it. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It looks great. And I've really enjoyed playing it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Don't forget, Tavern Manager Simulator is coming soon on Steam. So if you go to Steam... Uh, you can wishlist it, and it's going to be coming as an early access game, and it's just a bunch, as far as I can understand, it's a bunch of friends who have developed this game. So it's in early access, and I'm absolutely sure they'll be interested in your suggestions and ideas and recommendations. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Goodbye for now.